Hi everybody. In today's video I am going to show you my new Python script and prop that goes with it. It's called a light pipe and a light pipes controller. I'm going to start off here with the lounge which is comes with iClone. I think it's kind of like the hello world for iClone because it's one of the first props I learned at least. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this little image layer and I'm going to close this because we're going to delete all the lights that come with this scene. At least all the spotlights and all the point lights. So let me just delete all these and I'll do the point lights next. And I'm going to leave the inlaid lights but I'm just going to take the point lights out because it will make it a little bright. Oops. And that one. Okay, so now we've got our little scene here, and I'm gonna go to this wall right here, which is wall three, and I'm gonna make it invisible. So let me get wall three. There. All right, so now our scene is really dark. Before we get started, I'm gonna change our project settings to 3600. And also I'm going to go to render video and make that 3600. I'll change this to Ultra HD and 60 frames per second. I just always like that output range. Okay, so now we've got our project set up. Now I'm going to show you my prop. Let me go to my custom folder where it is now. It's called a light pipe. I mean a light cube. It's actually a light rectangle, but there it is. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit and let you look at one. It's basically it's just four pipes with a cylinder on the back and a point light in the middle of it. The point lights are hidden. Now, one thing you can do, there's also a box that's kind of the cube itself and I'm going to show you the Python just to get rid of all these annoying lines that I wish was an option in iClone but that's another story okay so that was just hide all lights does that and now since it's a box I can uh, the lights itself the light pipes don't scale so you can move you know if you want to evenly move those that direction and this direction you can do that but I'm actually going to bring them in a little bit same with these this is kind of a small room and then I'm going to scoot this one over here kind of for the bar area and don't worry about the bounce we're going to be moving this up to the roof so it's kind of going to be like global illumination and I'm going to scoot this one over here to this side and again we'll kind of get it like that and now what I'm going to do is select them both of my light cubes and move them up to the kind of the roof area I want them to shine through that little area not so far away the range is out of range so they're not out of range and now I'm going to say animation remove scene animation so there's nothing moving on me before we get started Okay, and now this is where it gets kind of neat, I think at least. So I'm going to go ahead and load our Python script again. I'm going to start off with kind of a red light, and we'll go a little, about medium amount, a little bit less than half. Okay, so that's our red, and notice we're on frame 1. I'm going to go to about frame 900. And now we're going to switch the red out for some blue. And I'm going to go a little darker. And next I'm going to go to 1800. And I'm going to switch out the blue for some green. Apply. We'll go a little more on green. Okay, that's getting a little glare through there, so I might go down a little. Alright. Or raise our lights up, one of the two. Probably what we need to do is actually raise our lights up just a little. Let me go to preview camera before I do that. 
because that's a little that's pretty bright up here but they're out of the way okay and now that's going to try to animate but we'll just put that in the same place at 3600 okay let's go to one see if it's yeah i thought it was going to go down we'll raise it up a little bit one okay so now back to 3600 we're going to go from green to purple here so we'll run our little python script again I was just trying to get it where I wanted it. Uh, we'll make red and blue so we get purple. And I'll scoot this out of the way so you can see and get past all these lights. Okay, so now we'll run it. Let me kind of scoot in so you can't see all that stuff. And now we'll make sure our camera is there. And we'll scoot the camera in a little. And then we'll take the camera and say, remove. That did re really weird there. Okay. Remove object animation. And now we'll just play our scene back. Sorry. So that's just an easy way to change your colors this would be good for like either a nightclub or if your characters were standing underneath the uh, like a Times Square sign or a Vegas kind of neon sign or you know even just a even like a I mean this is something I wanted to do a long time ago it was like a TV window and this could be kind of be used for that where you could put it inside the room and I think the glass would probably change colors a little. I haven't tried that yet. I may try it next, but I just wanted to show you my little uh, Python script and light cube prop that comes with it. And I'm going to sell this for $4. So I worked on this for about a week off and on. So just something I thought would be kind of an interesting way to, uh, you know, light up your scenes and, you know, and it can also use it to make it really dark. And I'll show that in another video. All right. Well, Thanks for watching, and I'm going to go ahead and render this, so I'll try to render what we just looked at and see what it looks like in the full video. Alright, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.